Hey guys, let's talk about 0 0.9 recurring. It means you have a zero with a decimal point followed by an infinite number of nines. This is equal to one. But despite the proofs, some people still don't believe it. They say that it's just shy of it. It's missing by some additional piece. Some people call it 0, 0.0 recurring with a one at the end. I've seen people in comments call it an infinitesimal, or in other words, the smallest possible number. They say you cannot get smaller than this number. So let's do some math with this smallest possible number. Let's divide both sides of this equation by three. One divided by three is equal to one third. 0 0.9 recurring divided by three is equal to 0 0.3 recurring. And then 0, 0.0 recurring one divided by three would be 0, 0.0 recurring one third. Well, this 0, 0.0 recurring one third can't exist because we already said this was the smallest possible number. So now we've hit a contradiction because we can't have something smaller than the smallest number. Well, after seeing this argument, some people say that the difference between 0 0.3 repeating and one third is the same as this. So 0 0.3 recurring misses one third by that smallest number and 0.9 recurring misses one by that smallest number. Well, this is kind of interesting. Let's do some math with this. If we multiply both sides by three, on the left side, we get one. And on the right hand side, we can distribute this. 0 0.3 recurring times three is 0.9 recurring. And 0, 0.0 recurring one times three would be 0, 0.0 recurring three. But now we no longer have that contradiction because 0, 0.0 recurring three is not smaller than the smallest possible number. So it's cool that there's no contradiction. Let's copy this first row down here and let's subtract it from this. Well, one minus one is zero. This minus this cancels each other out. And then 0, 0.0 recurring three minus 0, 0.0 recurring one is 0, 0.0 recurring two. And then let's divide both sides by two and we get zero divided by two is zero and zero recurring two divided by two is zero recurring one. And now we get the conclusion that this smallest possible number is in fact zero. How exciting.